Morning, everyone. I'm Leslie Marin. This is KCAL News at 9. We're streaming live on CBS News Los Angeles. Well, a deadly attack in Hollywood. A security guard beaten and killed outside a nightclub at closing time. KCAL News reporter Lori Perez live in Hollywood tonight where the suspects, Lori, are still on the loose tonight. Leslie, that's right, and police are looking for help finding what they say are multiple suspects involved in this deadly fight. Meanwhile, there is a growing memorial here outside of the Dragonfly nightclub on Santa Monica Boulevard. The coroner has not yet identified the victim, who, as you said, was a security guard here. But those who know the victim, they say uh, his name is Daniel. They call him D, and they are stunned by what happened. There is no line outside Dragonfly nightclub on this Sunday. The normal crowd replaced by mourners putting candles on the sidewalk at the site of a vicious and deadly fight early this morning. A man who didn't want to share his identity told us he thought of the victim as family. He just, he just didn't deserve this. He was a dad of two girls. He, he didn't deserve none of this. Good dude. He was always having fun, going out, always want to go out and do something. Police say it happened as this Hollywood hotspot was closing at around 2 a.m. A group of 7 to 11 people started arguing with a security guard as he was backing up. Investigators say he fell to the ground and the crowd pounced, punching and stomping on him. When first responders got here, they say he was already unconscious. He died at the hospital a short time later. We're exploring and canvassing the neighborhood now to determine which cameras are operable and in order to view them but one thing we know is that there were a lot of people present tonight a lot of people on the street many of whom let left the scene uh, prior to the police arriving. People who police think could have videos showing the suspects or can otherwise describe them. Investigators say it's unclear if this was gang related. They don't yet know what started the argument or why it turned violent. A fellow security guard who wanted to stay anonymous says he was feet from the attack and has no answers either. Which is unreal. I, I don't have, I'm lost for words. We did try to reach the owners of the club for more information on what happened here. They did not respond to multiple calls and messages. We are live in Hollywood. I'm Lori Perez, KCAL News. Back to you. Lori, thank you. Well, police believe shattered glass may have prompted an accident.